Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again and this time we're going to go as Tainted Lilith and we're going to go for the beast because I've realised something. We don't have Twisted Pair unlocked and that is a crime. So we are going to go do that. Um, and also, it's, it, it, I'm not saying it's guaranteed to be but it should be reasonably easy uh, with this character. Now, this character starts with much more balanced trinkets um, as a whole. Um, start with the friendship circle, which is whatever, it doesn't make too much of a difference to most things. Um, and then also starting with the umbilical cord, which I genuinely never remember how exactly it works. I think it's when you get hit on red HP, you have a small chance to create a, a Gemini. But I, I, I'll be honest, I'm not even sure that that's remotely true. So, I don't know. I am very, very lost on that. But, like I said, we shouldn't make much of a difference. We should have a decent time here. We got the finger off the bat here. Can't imagine it'll make much of a difference to our run overall, but it's not a bad thing. Dude, what is going on with us getting gold stuff um, on the first floor recently? It's just happening with an alarming amount of regularity. It's kind of crazy. As for today's question of the day, what is... You know what, I'll let that blow up just in case it's second secret room. Um, what is something that has been bothering you recently that you don't really know how to deal with? Because then maybe people in the comments can give you advice. Or maybe I can. But probably not, because I'm not good at things. But still. Why not? Tell me anyways. Maybe I'll reply to your comment in a month and a half, like I do all the time. <laughs> It'll be completely irrelevant by then. Now, I'll try, I'll try and stay on top of things. But you never know with me. Sometimes I say I'm going to stay on top of things, and then I just kind of don't. Uh, I'm going to go downpour here, just for the simple fact that I want to, um, I want to bomb the, what's it called, uh, mirror, uh, so that I can get extra reflected item chances, because why the hell wouldn't I? Because I forget that exists quite often, and it's pretty darn useful. So I'm going to do that, and hope it adds some value to our run. Just for the off chance that we get a reflected item, um that is uh like pretty good in stack sort of thing uh also i think i mentioned it in a previous episode but i'm going to mention it again um someone that has been working on a mod that adds stacking to different items and they're actually making some decent progress although they are new to modding so they, they, they are figuring things out with this mod as they go but it's super exciting to see a mod that i had the idea for come to life and i'm not saying that they're um their creation of this mod is based on the idea that I had originally. This is tricky. My little unicorn's pretty good, but um, I just... I'm going to get a better active at some point. Rubber baby, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Lovely. Um, yeah, I'm going to say, so it's kind of cool to see that come to fruition. So I left a ton of suggestions um, for what I would like to see stack and how. Obviously, some of it isn't going to happen because it's too difficult or just genuinely not possible, but I just like suggestions anyways to see what comes of them. Um, and hopefully this person can figure some of them out. They've already added a few of my suggestions. Originally, the uh, the mod only sta added stacking for Cursed Eye based on a suggestion by Hutz. Um, but I obviously left a comment saying, more items could stack if you want to add more to the mod, which they did. Um, and they've already added stacking for Loki's Horns, which basically... Adds the ability to also fire shots diagonally. Oh, dude, that was some bad hits there. I I'm not liking this Dross version of uh, Wormwood here that's got the spiraling tears. I didn't know that was a thing. I'll be honest, I've fought this guy for a long time and never knew that was a thing. It, th it might be the fact that it just wasn't ever a thing and uh, it got changed with reworked foes. Y you don't really know. Um, but yeah, secret room-wise, I'm fairly certain also we got the best item for moving around. Massive gains when we're outside of combat. I love it. I'm pretty sure it's here. Go. That's pretty awesome. Petrified poop. Uh, I think I'm actually going to take petrified poop over this at this point. Hmm. I don't think there's any way that I can reach a bomb to both of these. So I don't really think there's much point. Um... Wait, what? I'm very, I'm very confused here. So, Brick Figure spawns a separator and four studs. 
wh where is it getting this item from? This item isn't in this room, right? Is it in the shop? What? I'm confused where Spin Down's getting its idea for this brick figure. Where's that coming from, game? You confuse me. Hmm. Right. I'm a little annoyed I destroyed all these poops preemptively. I also don't know my HP, so I don't want to go in the cash room. But if this brick figure is in the um, in the shop, I'd very much like to spin it down and buy it. But I don't have enough money, and I don't have keys, so I'm going to have to use a bomb to get in here. And then I don't have a bomb to bomb my donation machine or to bomb one of these guys. It's not put me in a great spot. Let's let's just pretend I didn't see that and move on to the next floor, hoping that things improve. Let's just say that, shall we? Let's just say that. So yeah, I don't, I don't know where my health's at. I don't want to waste my bomb. I don't even know if Brick Figure will be in there. I might just be making up shit. I mean, it still says Brick Figure is the item here, so it might, it might just be making shit up. I, I really don't know where it was getting that from. I don't know if it can see through walls or what, what that's about. In fact, I don't think that's how that works. I don't think the item generates until you've entered the room. Oh, no, 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 wait. It does generate when you enter the floor, because otherwise, how would, um... How would... What's the hell the item called that shows you what's in the item room and in the boss room? What the hell's that thing called? Dreamcatcher. How would Dreamcatcher work otherwise? So... At the minute, we are just hoping and looking for an additional key to get into our item room. I'm not liking, at the minute, the sheer ridiculous amount of damage I'm taking for a character that is so darn easy. Oh, we did get a Gemini baby in this room, briefly. Uh, so it might not be only red health damage that makes it work. It might just be any old damage. Oh, come on, game. Don't, don't, don't toy with my heart when it comes to keys, please. The game likes to do this to me on the early floors. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Right. Back we go. And we'll see if spin downs have any use. We get ourselves good old Kernhead, which... Uh, Kernhead would have gone down into moldy bread. Great. <laughs> nah, I think I'll, I'll definitely accept Kernhead and be reasonably happy with it. It's really not the best, but a Soul Heart plus a chance to block shots is not at all bad, so cannot cry about it. Careful of the Spewer Boys. Need a penny and another key to make shop work. Oh, dude, come on now. Okay. Do a boss now. What am I hoping for here? I'm hoping for... I think I'm either hoping for the screw. No, not the screw. Is it toothpicks or um, consolation prize? I think that I think I, with spin down, they're the best two boss items you can get. Because I think toothpicks is sacred heart. Um, and I think... Um, Consolation Prize is Revelations. Either of those would be pretty good. I'm not liking the amount of damage I'm taking right now, really. It's it's very upsetting. Right. Either one of those two would be divine game. Absolutely divine. Ooh, baby. That's worth it. Heal Spurs is absolutely ludicrously broken. It allows you to more than double your damage by simply walking around. <laughs> I will take that as a gesture from the gods and move on with our run. Yeah, Heal Spurs is, uh, is, is one of the better items we could have got there. I would go as far as to say it might be a little bit better than Sacred Heart. Nah, it's Sacred Hands a multiplier, and it's a health up, and it's a full HP, and it's herming. It's just everything. It's everything. Um, so maybe not quite that good, but of the damage ups that are out there, especially in modding, I'd definitely say it's one of the better ones. And because of the way that the damage up actually applies, I think it's even better for a character like Lilith, where we can just whip around and hit things. 
Now, I do think it also scales based on our speed. So, in rooms, we're, we're hitting a maximum of 7.19 because we're at 0 0.95. But when we're outside of combat, when we get our mighty speed boost, you can see we're hitting highs of, like, 9.19. So, we're getting a lot more damage when we have higher speed. So, getting speed increases now does increase our damage. So, we want to be aiming for those. I mean, I say aiming. Not really aiming. You don't really aim for items. They just kind of happen to you. But you know what I mean. Careful of those guys. Secret room looks to be behind us here. I'll give that a go. Lovely stuff. A bunch of bombs. I'll take some pennies here as well. Why not? Makes our shop viable. You watch us get good old... Um, what's it called in here? Toothpicks. You watch the game make me regret my decisions heavily. Ragged, raggedy boy. Gotta make sure we're moving around. We'll annihilate him. I, I am baffled by how I didn't get hit there. This will make all of our HP into soul hearts, but um, I think it's going to be pretty worthwhile. We're going to get quite a lot. Yeah. Ooh, we got seven seals as well. I'm pretty happy with seven seals as it goes. Uh, I might as well destroy you for higher eternal heart chance. That was a very bad hit by me there. I just kind of walked right into that one. Seven seals is uh, genuinely very, very good. Very happy with it as, an as far as angel items go. Not disappointed in the slightest. Now, where do I want to use my soul of Cain? I want to get maximum value. So we want to be trying to find services that we're going to get most doors on. We got one, two, and we got just two here. Which pro actually no, we got three. Okay, we've got three here, so we'll do this. It also revealed to us that the secret room is in fact where I thought it would be. So that's good stuff. Um, good bit of money, glass D four, glass D eight. Don't think either of those really apply. We'll see if we can obviously find the ultra secret room, but that's very much luck of the draw. I think we've got a decent chance here. We're pretty central to everything. It could be attached to any one of these. Um, but it could, us could also just as likely not be attached to any of them. So we will see. Shop is here. We get a shortcut to it. Unfortunately, not, um, not an item I think is worth buying, really. And our last chance here, unfortunately, we did not get so lucky. Uh, we haven't seen item room yet, so we'll keep on trucking. But yeah, eh, solar cane, it is what it is. You win some, you lose some with that thing. Good. Hot bombs, okay. Don't know what the hell's going on with these little, little gemstone fragment boys, but we've seen a few of them. Apple of Pride is lovely. Hot bombs is just fine. Um, we'll get going. Apple of Pride gives us major stat bonuses um, until we next get hit, so decent enough. Right, we did, there's, nah. I wanted to get going, but the beast has no time limit. We've got maximum speed, and there is a few extra rooms along with an arcade that we never entered over there. I feel like I owe it to myself to at least do a little bit more investigatory work and check out what's going on over here. It might be worthwhile. It also might not. What's in you? Okay, we'll never find out. You see, got a half soul heart that we didn't need. <laughs> Such value. Right, arcade. Arcades are only really valuable to me if they... Do you know what? I'll open this up. Arcades are... Was not expecting that. You gotta say. Let's try and spend some money here before we pick that up. Arcades are only really of value to me if um, they have uh, crane games in them, I'll be honest. Crane games are like the only thing I want to see. Really? That paid out with just that? Are you kidding? But yeah, I might as well spend all my money on these and just see what happens. Yeah, unfortunate on those fronts. We do get a Steven floor here, which with a hundred doll hairs is not, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. 
Although there's not really any items I want to trade. Stephen Floor, to me, is one of those things where it's, it's, it's a really interesting addition to the game, but it's not actually that applicable on most runs. I like having the option, but it's, it's, it's one of those flaws that you're missing out on an item room and a shop. So, and you've got to have good money, which we do have. You've also got to have items that you, that you kind of want to trade away. And I've got a few that I'd be okay trading away, but honestly, like, the vast majority I'm pretty happy with keeping right now, so... I don't really feel the need. Also, can we just rem just remind ourselves that we didn't blow up the mirror, which was the entire fucking reason we went to downpour. Just completely forgot about that until right now. And I'm sure many of you were yelling into your screen in absolute agony as I made that mistake. As is standard for my for my content. Spawn two cards, Pot of Greed. Doubles our keys, where? I could leave it and wait until we have more keys, but honestly, eight keys is enough, I'm happy. All right, check what's going on in here. Eh. Not that bothered. Cards like that, they add a bit of flair to the game and stuff, but ones that I don't find particularly useful. Oh, dude, okay. Now I'm a little annoyed I didn't play. I didn't roll deep. Because I've got... I, I want to play this guy and get... No one wants a green key, my guy. No one wanted a green key. My god, give me the red key. Oh, come on now. Don't be like this, my guy. Skeleton key? Dude... All we need is Pyro, and I'm very annoyed in getting here, by the way. That That is one of my favorite trinkets in the entire game, so I'm a bit annoyed that it's completely blocked off. But yeah, all we need now is Pyro, and we have the Holy Trinity. We have the Holy Trinity, so let's, let's see if we can get it. Anyway, Secret is probably here. It's not there, okay. Uh, let's head back. Yeah, I, I do think there should be a way to get around these red blocks other than just the keys. Because, yeah, that's... that's oh, I shouldn't have taken that. It's a little sad. The dollar's so rare as well. I think Kern had actually stopped me from taking damage on that first hit there. And then I goofed by just walking straight into it once again. Sack room. Sack room is like... Mm. Kind of tempting to me, but we've got so much non-red health that it's a little sketch. Fortunately, we just get the sunken, which I'm not particularly interested in. Oh, dude, I don't need more money, my guy. I never needed more money. Definitely don't need golden pennies. I don't even know why I'm picking up the money. It's just, like, satisfying, I guess. Kind of it, really. I Literally, all I care about this run now is getting Pyro. Like, I just... I just want Pyro so bad. <laughs> if my next item room has Pyro in it, this might be the most perfect run I've ever had. Regards to the fact that having 99 of everything via those items is not very meaningful at all. It just it's just incredibly satisfying. I guess I'll take the hangman. It's not like I can fly over those green blocks though. Unfor or red blocks, whatever they are. No green, unfortunately, so Right. Boss time. We do have a double trouble here going. Try and make sure we're moving constantly to get that extra damage. Yeah, I need some speed up during combat to get some more damage. So I, I want either a damage up or a speed up from this boss. Or I could just get myself hit a bunch of times for virtually no reason. Okay, there's a damage up. So, I mean, you you gave me some of what I wanted. Look up what is also not bad. Um... Yeah, we're just going down. Now, we do need a full card on this next floor. Do not forget the full card like you forgot the reflected items. Mirror explosion. Keep our eyes on the prize.
Now, I don't believe that Secret Room is above, but I, I just want to believe just in case. Because, oh, dude, that was very bad positioning on my part. I just wanted to get into the boss trap room. That was, was being very hurtful there. I kind of knew it wouldn't be there, but... Stuff. Oh, an extra key back up to 99. What do you hold for us? Continuum. Don't think that does much for us. Fortunately, our item remains haven't been great. That is not Pyro either, so... The depression sits heavy on my soul. I don't know, but... I don't know about you, but... Pyro can show up in the secret room pool, so... The dream isn't dead quite yet. There's still a chance. There's our full card as well. Black Heart Extra as well, nice. Calm yourself down, Bernie boy. What's going on in here? Unfortunately, not a lot of good for us in here either. Dude, this game has been a bit cruel. Where's Pyra? Also, where's our secret room situated exactly? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, dude. Oh, Kernhead. Negated that damage there for us. Lovely. Um, is there an enemy still alive? Oh, really? Okay, do this first. We've done boss rush, yeah, but we can teleport out a boss rush to get an item. Not really that worried about that damage I'm taking. Beautiful stuff. Nice. Doesn't matter which one of these we take. Come in here. Halo's fine by me. And Backstab is the number one contender right now. And it takes the cake. Full card out of here. Pop that to open that up. Yeah. A little bit of unnecessary damage here. Yeah, another arcade that we're not getting much out of. Just looking for a blood bag here. Beautiful. Blood bag's HP, but more importantly, it's speed. Sadly, if we'd have kept our spin down, that would have been brimstone. But, we wouldn't have heal spares if that was the case. And heal spares has been incredibly good for us. So. And to be fair... I probably would have used it already on something else anyways, so. Right, now we've just got to find Pyro. It's easy, easy enough. Go simply find Pyro. No second secret room there, right. So where's, where's regular secret room? Let's find that first. So, I believe we've checked at the end of here. Don't... No. We've checked there. Okay, that's not plausible. We've checked there. Have we checked here? We have checked here. Have we checked here? Not. That's not Pyra. This is rather disappointing game. Right. We'll be taking our leave. Thank you very much, game. We'll be taking our leave. Ooh, hello. Unfortunately, neither of those are even worth grabbing. <laughs> Soul of Eve is decent, but nah. I can't be arsed spending the key. And that says a lot, because I have 98 of them. An extra black heart there, lovely. Donk. Uh, technically, that is better than holding petrified poop at this stage, so I will take it. Okay, that room kind of cleaned itself up nicely for us. 
Oh, shit. I did not expect that for some reason. Even though I have literally fought that enemy many, many times before. Okay. Once again, looking for the secret room, uh, which I believe to be here. That isn't Pyro either. We got the Pixie Stick. Speed, shot speed. Speed is good. 25% chance when entering an uncleared room to activate a wavy cap. Oh, that's the sort of shit that I like to see. That is horrendous, and I love it. Oh, yes, baby. This is going to get wacky. I love stuff like this. This is uh, actually part of a trinket mod pack that I recently installed. Um, the, basically, it just it's just a mod pack that adds like 25 or so new trinkets, but I really like the idea of it because um, something wicked adds a bunch of different ways to smelt trinkets, so uh, just adds to the fun. We have to go for this one because we are seeking out Pyra. Nightshade. Nightshade is very good, but it's not Pyra. Depression. Dude, I've got so much money to spend. How dare you? Now, I think our Pyro dreams are unfortunately just completely dead in the water. I will take Siren's Call. Oh, we got Rainbow Baby anyways. <laughs> Um, how do I get in here? Okay. Okay. No. Oh, I think it's got some real heft to it. But yeah, we are gonna be seeing some wavy caps here and there. Dude, this is kind of hard to avoid. Book of Genesis is actually not that valuable for us, to be honest. Which, I'm very dumb. <laughs> I was like, we'll pick it up once and then put it down. Put it down for what? How, how am I going to put it down? For now, unless I get a new active item, I just take double damage. All the time. So I've kind of goofed here. I've kind of goofed in a major way. So, chest, please give us mum's bottle of pills. <laughs> and by chest, I mean the one uh, on the uh, the end of the sending in her. Otherwise, or on mum's, mum's uh, thingy box. Otherwise, we are going to be, yeah, producing quite a lot of black hearts, but at the cost of all of our damage being doubled. So, not great. Also, <laughs> wavy cap keeps procking, so things are getting a little spicy in that department. Oh, God. We've hit Wavy Cat three times in a row so far. I really like this trinket. It's a really good idea. Really, really solid idea. Just ge generally, all the ideas for the trinkets in this pack looks really good. So, it's just one of the many, many good ideas. More bombs. Okay, up we go. Just like his father. I don't know why I risked risked getting hit there for the chance at my 97th key. I'll be honest, I really don't know why. This is really horrible room, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say, there's pretty much no way I don't take some damage in here. This enemy can suck a fat one. So yeah, we're taking two Black Hearts worth of damage per hit right now. That's going to be pretty bad when we get over to the Beast fight, I, I've got to say. I and mean, we'll be able to get there with full HP, but we are going to be doing the entire fight with essentially half the amount of HP we currently have. I, oh my god, I don't like the idea of... Like, I didn't realize this guy had continuum shot that kind of threw me off. Of 
Got a crawl space. This could be an active. This could be an active. Or it could be not an even not even an item. Just a disc. Ugh, come on now. That's not a crawl space. We didn't have any actives that we left behind, I don't think, either. It was only Unicorn Horn, but that was one that we actually, like, traded for the other item. We didn't leave it behind as such. You do you, Mr. B. But you're not gonna suck my juice. Okay. Unfortunately, I have, uh... Set myself up for some not so nice times here with the demon buddy I've enabled. Okay, that was a little bit scary. Nice. I did see a soul heart back here. There you go. Okay. We're back up to full HP at least. Last two floors now. Come on, Mum's box. Come on, Mum's bottle of pills. You know you want to appear for me. You know you want to. These big boys aren't so bad, depending on how they bounce around. Good. Get rid of that champion one real quick, thank you. Okay. Oof. Last few floors. Last floor, even. Wavy Cap hadn't gone off in a little while. I was starting to wonder what was going on, but it is back in full force. This thing hits me all the goddamn times. So let's be very careful about this enemy. And remember, he does that, which is the bit that always hits me. My fucking god. Nightshade saved me there. Poopy okay. boy is gone. Okay. Come on, you know, you know you want to give me a spicy, spicy little active item. Not spicy keys, that's not... Not what I said. Damn. <laughs> okay, so. We are going to be taking double damage for the duration of all of this, which really is not ideal. And we'll kind of just see how that goes for us. I don't like the fact that he enabled this brimstone attack while I'm over here. That wasn't very nice. One second, he's doing it again. That dude, mm, I was cutting it a bit close, my guy. One second, I've got an itchy head right now. It's not not the right time, game. I said game. I, I meant body, but I said game. Okay, TV is dead at least. Now it's just on to the Rotary Blade motherfucker. Um, we'll see how he decides to... Yep. I was just about to say we'll see how he decides to play it. He's decided to play it like a bitch. And for some reason, sometimes he just does this attack non-fucking-stop. Very frustrating. Sometimes he's like, nah, nah, nah. One and done. Other times he's like, okay, now this is the only thing I do. Backstab is really nice in this guy if he does do the spinny thing again. Yeah. He's going to take good damage from it. 
Yeah, it seems to be like there's like three ways he can attack. Once is where he just does the light attack. Another one is where he just does the spinning attack. And there's the third one where he actually does a mix of everything like he's supposed to. But most of the time, I feel like it's this version where he just does this attack. Which he, he definitely spins a few too many times on. But there you go. We got through it nice and easy. Now onto the beast. Again, double damage in effect here. So let's try try as we may to avoid getting hit too much. Remember, we still have heal spare enabled even if we can't see our stats. So moving around a lot is going to be highly beneficial to us. Why does he sometimes do that? Popping the same side of the screen twice. Oh, we've been hit already. I didn't even actually see what hit me. Good thing is we do have uh, Siren's Call, which means we get familiars when we get hit and they can be all sorts of goodies for us. This is the one that I always get hit by, but Night's Shade is helping us quite a bit, actually. With the Wisps. Good stuff, good stuff. We do get good speed here as well, so... All the way over here. Lovely. All the way over here. Didn't quite work the way I wanted it to, but that's fine. In second phase now anyways. Some sacrificial blood. Keep it in the air, keep it in the air. <laughs> Being keepy up with the sac- look, look at all the sacrificial blood. That's so funny. I managed to pop a few of them. <laughs> it's funny. Right, hello, good sir. How is the war going for you? Probably not not the not the best thing to be talking about in the current climate. But anyways, my bad. I've been hit by one. I've been hit by two. Okay, war has uh, has has really done a number on me here. But don't worry, guys. We got Acid Baby and Slip Rib. Okay. Unfortunately, it took a pretty considerable amount of damage there. If we can just do this flawless, I, I'm going to feel pretty confident. If we can't, maybe not so much. By the way, does anyone on that attack with all the sides, does anyone go anywhere else other than up to the left? I feel like that's the only gap that I see that's viable, but other people might, like, take a different route about it. I feel like that place uh, consistently has, like, a gap. Okay, we got him. No hits. We do get another black heart here because of the charge it gives us. So we are one, two, three. We're, like, five or six. I think we've got six hits in us. I've only got five hits in us, actually. By the way, the beast has been tweaked um, by the improved furs mod. So the falling stalagmites can now fall anything past his first phase, which is scary. Uh, they, they have better hit detection and collision, which is nice. And also, the certain attacks that he didn't do very regularly, that he, he will now do more regularly. So the beast is certainly more difficult than he used to be. So we'll see how that goes for us. Could screw us up significantly, we'll see. The falling stalagmites is the biggest deal for me because I, I get hit by those things all the goddamn time. But you'll see this one right here, look. They're pretty obvious, to be honest. You just gotta be sort of standing in the right position to be prepared for them. But this phase here should allow for falling stalagmites now. Rather than not having them ever, which I always thought was really weird. Yeah, there's one look. We didn't get to see any of the other attacks, but hey her. Yeah, some good beast tweaks. I like it. It's actually, I say beast tweaks. It's from, uh, taken from a mod called Beast Tweaks and just implemented into the improved first mod. So, cool to see that getting some recognition. Anyways, nice and easy win there. We unlocked a good old twisted pair and I'm pretty happy about that. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.